All right, so let's talk about steel cutting. The icon is right here. The command is S cut if you're uh, if you're a command line person. Um, sometimes uh, you need to cut a member. Maybe it's not so much uh, about you know stretching to make something shorter. Maybe you want to cut a section out of something. So um, let's go ahead and 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 cut this member um, into a couple pieces. Well, first we'll do a single cut. So there's there's a couple options when you do the cut command. You can you can cut by line or cut by points. I typically don't like cutting by points. Um, when you choose by points, um, it, it's never seemed to work for me. Sometimes it can work. Um, you'll notice I picked the first point here, and I don't see any indicator of where to pick my second point to cut. So I'm just kind of picking randomly, um, and it wants to go to a point three. Uh, and you don't really know where that point is. And if you finish the command, nothing happens. So, you know, it's not very intuitive to use cut by points, which is why I always do cut by line. So we're going to do a cut by line by just drawing a line in the direction we want to cut. And think of a cut like a slice, okay? If I have a slice of a box and I want to slice that box, you need to create a slicing plane. I'll just snap to the center here and create that slicing plane and I'm going to keep both sides. And there, I've sliced this object in half, right? But um, let's say I want to cut the side of this box. I want to slice it down the middle right here. The way my UCS is oriented, you know that when I go to slice, I don't have an option for that. There's no option for me to slice it in this direction because if I slice this way, look at the way the UCS is pointed. You're looking on a top-down view. So looking at a top-down view, this isn't slicing anything, and this isn't slicing anything, right? If I if I do this, nothing will be sliced at all. In order for me to slice that view, I have to change my UCS to the front. Now that my UCS, uh, my X and Y axis is is uh, parallel with this line or with this face that I'm trying to to slice, I can now slice this object in half. Well, cutting works the same way. It's the same principle, except it's you want to make sure you're in the correct UCS when you draw the cutting line. So I'm going to do a top-down view here, and I'm going to do uh, I'm going to do this cut command. I'm going to choose line. What you're going to want to do is select the line first, and then enter because you can select multiple lines. So select your line or lines, enter. Now select the objects you want to cut, enter, and it cuts. And what it's doing is it's slicing the solid and breaking the line. You have two separate pieces now. I can also have a couple lines. Let's do one here and uh, one here. Do the same command, cut. We'll choose our lines this time, multiple lines, and then choose our object. And we've cut it into multiple section. You can also do this. And keep in mind, your lines don't have to intersect your object. So I'm going to select my lines again. And we're cutting both of these objects with all of these lines. So you can mix and match however you need to. Um, however, if I'm in the wrong UCS when I draw this line, let's say I'm in UCS left and I didn't notice that I was in UCS left and I go to cut this and I do a cut, look at how it cuts it. It did not cut the way I wanted it to. And even if I change my UCS to the top view, it's still going to cut that direction because it remembers the UCS in which I cut uh, or the, the UCS in which I drew this line for my cutting plane. So you have to kind of keep that in mind. Sometimes if there's nothing to cut, like for example, let's say I drew a line and that line is out here and I go to cut, it might tell me that there's nothing to cut. No members were cut because I'm, my, my object is outside that cutting plane. Okay, so just to make things a little bit more clear, with a top-down view, what I'm doing is, uh, let's go to UCS left, I'm creating a cutting plane that essentially looks like that. Right, we're cutting like that, we're slicing through it, or I can rotate this and we're cutting that way. If I were to cut another uh, the other direction, if I were to draw the line this way, but doing this way, we're gonna we're gonna cut that other plane. 
Okay, so you really have to pay attention to how your UCS is oriented because there's going to be times where you're going to want to cut a certain direction um, and you're like, why isn't this working? And it's not working because of how you, oh, here's, you know, here's a great example. I think it's whenever you draw in the z-axis. So let's put this at the front. Same line, drawing in the z-axis. Go to select my line and then my object. It'll say no members were cut. Anytime you draw into the z-axis, it's not going to cut anything. Okay, so it's not going to work. However, if I draw on the X and Y axis, and I'm, again, drawing this line in this axis, and in this UCS, we're in the front UCS, drawing along the X and Y axis, I'm going to get a cut now. And there it is. Again, if I drew this line in the top UCS, I'm perfectly fine, even if I change the UCS to something like front, I'm still okay. I'm still okay because I drew the line originally in the correct UCS. So if you get an error like no members were cut or if it cuts the wrong direction, pay attention to how your line uh, was drawn originally. When you're using the, the cut command, always draw along the X and Y axis. axis and, if, and, and align your UCS so that you're able to cut in that direction. Let's say that you're working at a site that is at an angle or a some structure that's at an angle. Let's just rotate this 30 degrees. Uh, wrong 30 degrees. Okay, like this. Again, if I so if I just draw this line straight out, nothing's gonna happen. I mean, sorry, sorry, something will happen, but it's gonna cut it at an angle. If I go to that steel cut, it's gonna cut at that angle. You need to make sure you draw a line perpendicular to what you're cutting. Okay. If you have to, align your UCS, you know. Um, you can do that two different ways. You can type in UCS and then uh, pick your first point. Your second point is your x-axis. Your third point is your y-axis. So first point is the base. Second point is x-axis. Third point is y-axis. Now I'm aligned with this, and I can draw like this. You know, I draw a line vertically. Again, x or y. So I can draw a line vertically and cut. Another way you can do it is to uh, select the UCS itself and drag it over to the point and then uh, and then you can attempt to um, align it. I'm not a fan of this method as much so I'm just gonna say UCS and align it here there and then I can, now I can draw that line and make that cut and there it is. So that's still cutting in the nutshell really easy but just pay attention to what UCS uh, that you draw that line.